So obviously, Paul Tassi reported yesterday that he has heard from a valued source that an, a deal was made and struck between PlayStation and Game Science to prioritize the PS5 version and get that out and obviously hold back the Series X version. Now, this is not new news, Umbra. We've heard this time and time before. Sony continues to do this. Why? Well, it's very simple. They don't have any first-party games of their own. Uh, the one that they just released, did you see the numbers this morning? Concord had 67 people playing that game. Sheesh. 60, 67 humans. Last time that I game, saw it was 69. I'm like, people made jokes about it, but yeah. Yeah, I, I, yeah of course. <laughs> but I'm just saying that that's not good. So that, that's what Sony has to hang, the hang uh, their hat on for right now. So, of course, they're going to make third-party deals. They have no choice. It makes perfect business sense to, why are you going to buy a PS5? Well, you have all these other games that people are enjoying. Even if they're in small amounts, they're still games that are not on an Xbox. And there you go. But it, it helps It helps create also, boom, before I get to, before you call on me. It, it yeah. also helps create, for, first off, Sony has been pretty cutthroat for a long time when it comes to that. Yes. Yeah. And credit, yes. credit to them, right? I, I yeah. wish Xbox would kind of be like that. And be like, no, nope, we're going to take that. And it's not to say the Xbox doesn't have marketing deals or whatever that they do uh, essentially money hat games until Game Pass or whatever, right? It's not to say that they don't. So when I say what I'm saying here, it's not to trash Sony for doing it because they have to do what they have to do for business. No, their business. Yes, absolutely. Right. Yeah. But what it comes off looking bad at is that there is not transparency and it's like, no, it's a technical issue. So essentially you're throwing the series S under the bus. It, and so that's they why, are. Yes. That's yep. why people are from what I'm reading are having such an issue. And I'll get into that when you get to me, but uh, yeah, it's, it's, it wouldn't surprise me if Sony did it. We, we talked about this on the, on the uh, Xbox factor. What two weeks ago? We a week, I guess a week ago, and we spoke on this saying, Yeah, it's probably the way Microsoft worded that tweet. Wh why would they just randomly say that out of nowhere, saying we don't speak on our business partners' platforms and what you know, and deals that to me that signifies if they don't know that it happened, that they believe that it happened. You see yes. what I mean? So, yeah. but I'll let you finish setting things up, brother. So, well, you know what? I'm gonna bring you in, but let me let me read the original post from Paul Tassi. He says, a source with knowledge of the situation has told me that Black Myth Wukong is not currently on Xbox because of an exclusivity deal and not delayed because of any sort of technical issues. That's what he said. Now, I have his rebuttal to, of course, what Jeff Grubb and Nick from Xbox Era had to say regarding the potential of a misunderstanding. There's no misunderstanding in business. But this is what Paul had to say. He says, I have a lot of respect for Jeff and Nick. I would not have published without what I consider to be an extremely authoritative, uh, authoritative source. Frustrating to not be able to say more. So he is, of course, protecting his source as he should. And he closes it out with saying, the situation has been described to me as bizarre, which I can certainly agree with at this point. And he goes on to say, follow-up tweet, Umbra, based on what they're saying, it seems possible a temporary exclusivity deal was done for paying to get the, a port done on the PlayStation side without paying for a traditional marketing deal. Clearly, marketing is not involved, specifically told it is not a tech issue for Xbox causing the delay. So I want to hand the mic over to you. And you said you said you, said you spoke to some folks in some mm -hmm. private uh, conversations yeah. to one that you feel comfortable talking about here. So I, don't think they will, I don't think they were mine. So uh, let's, let's, get, let, let, let's, get, yeah. let's get into it, man. So both Jez and Special Nick talked with jazz directly so i talked with jazz directly and uh so I, I i talked to him he you know on his their discord for instance right and right. I, I said hey well and there was another brother actually commenting uh shout out to uh my brother the scarecrow uh who was communicating with me 
And so Jazz jumps in. And I, I made a comment and I said, well, I gave both sides of it because you got a lot of people who are, for whatever reason, up in arms that this is even in the discussion. I think it's a lot of our Hoover brothers, to be honest. Yeah, I don't know why they're so up in arms, but they're like, oh, just trust me, bro. It's like, yeah, these guys have been right a lot. I'm going to give them a little bit of benefit of the doubt. Yeah. And it's, where, where's your source? Do you honestly, in your brain, think that these guys are going to reveal their sources and get rid of their sources because some nobody on Twitter? <laughs> it is such a stupid thing to say. Indeed. If yeah. you don't believe them, just say you don't believe them. But to ask for a source, who's your source? Who who are you, random uh, username? Uh, I like lowlies24. Get out of here. It's, it's such a stupid thing when I see that. I hate when I see people say that. Whoever's doing it, please stop doing it. Please stop it because you're embarrassing yourself. Indeed, you 100%. Yeah. They're never going to give you that answer. You know it's a nun. A, a, I don't want to say First of all, it's, it's they're trusting you. Starter. You know, to add, to add some context, you got to understand people that are releasing this information may be super close. I mean, I'm talking like on, on boots on the ground close. Are they yeah. going to, uh, is someone like a Paul Tassie who, who I, listen, I don't always agree with Paul. He knows that, but he doesn't always agree with me as well. And I do, I do consider him to be part of the tips of spear, if you will, of journalists that I trust. We don't, don't agree all yeah. the time, but I do trust him. What is he supposed to do, Umbra? Throw his freaking source under the bus so they get fired? Exactly. So it's, it's so it's stupid. I'll also, too, I'll say this. Even if, and a lot of people think, well, they've been wrong before. Sure, things change. We've all and been I'm not wrong. saying they're infallible. That's all of them. That's That goes to my brother Nick. That goes to Jez. That goes to anybody who is offering sources that we've come to hear from over these years but they have been right a lot. Why do people just suddenly turn their brains off and ignore that? I do not know. So that aside, I talked with him and I, I said, well, and I gave a, a even keeled response because that's just the kind of guy I am. I said, well, I believe jazz and such on this situation. He's saying that it, this is a thing and that it's, it's kind of bizarre on how it's happening because it threw Microsoft off. And, mm -hmm. and it, as it happened, it seemed sudden also. Um, so I said, well, to be fair, our brother uh, Nick doesn't seem to believe it was a deal in place and, you know, that there was no special deal made with Sony. Well, Jazz came back right back and said, well, Nick is wrong on this one. Like confidently, he said this. He said, Nick is wrong on this one. I believe their sources don't know is all. So he was flat out. He didn't mince words. And so he goes on to elaborate it. He says he thinks it might be a, a technical issue. Possibly that might be a truthful thing that they shared, that it could be a technical issue. But also that they could have also made a deal with Sony as far as getting the game out to the PlayStation on time as well as a PC release. So uh, he says the communications are, he said, he says there's some kind of miscommunication. Uh, but the reason this is coming out to press in multiple ways is because it's an open talking point within Xbox right now. So people in Redmond are like, yo, what's going on here? Mm -hmm. They're actively confused to the situation as well. He says uh, Xbox definitely believes there was a, a deal in play. And as I mentioned a while ago, they wouldn't say what they have said in that tweet. Otherwise, it's very obvious. It's, that doesn't take much leap of logic and uh, to understand that they believe that there was a deal it, they could be wrong i'm not saying this is a certainty but they believe it it's very clear how they worded their tweet Indeed. um and he says i imagine that they resent the implication that xbox is somehow to blame he said, i think game science is unaware of the discourse in the west result revolving around xbox series s and he says why would they know and care and he's correct why would they right uh, so while they might not be lying about technical issues being a part of the story, the fact is right now there's some kind of temporary deal in place for PlayStation. He's not saying that there might be. He's saying there is a deal in place. There you uh, go. Just to be clear, he said it's not necessarily nefarious, but fanboys will play it up on both sides. And he's correct about that as well. Now, Nick jumps in a while later. Let me go to his. And Nick doubts it. And I'm I'm saying both sides of this to be fair, uh, because I, I had a, a brother who was like, Well, you're gonna jump on Boom's podcast and you say that Sony did this. <laughs> I said, Well, I'm gonna give an even keeled, respectful answer on both ways. I, I love how know. I'm a demon and I, and, and yeah. that I don't talk about Sony in a positive way. That's the thing. 
whenever I pl- uh, play one of their games, like how, how many Xbox players does anyone know that it ran out to buy Astrobot and the matching controller? Yeah, Not they want to demonize people. Xbox. I don't know why they go out of their way to try to demonize Xbox guys like that. It's it's so stupid. Ridiculous. Uh, and you've been clear in that you have love for whatever certain PlayStation titles. Same as myself. Yep. I'm sure, Corkenstein, you have as well. A lot oh, yeah. of us, a lot of Xbox guys have PlayStations, in fact, right? Or we would play their games on PC. <laughs> um, but still, it's just like <laughs> <laughs> it's just like it's so unnecessary for all this vitriol all the time. So Nick says he, Nick chimes in. He says, "Mean I mean, ignoring that I trust my source is good on this one for a second. And Nick is he, he does have good sources. So to be fair, he does. we you know, hey, Jazz is confident. Nick is confident. So de- he says devs said that they had uh, optimization issues, which they are. Uh, why are we not giving a new dev the benefit of the doubt that they're telling the truth? Even the PS5 port isn't in great shape. True." He says when Sony money hats, they make the most of it, which is also true. They market the game. Why not market this one? He says, please com- correct me if I'm wrong, but post the FTC case, wasn't Sony, excuse me, wasn't uh, Sony supposed to start disclosing this stuff? Money did change hands. It just wasn't to keep the game off Xbox. Now, that was his opinion. That doesn't, that wasn't certain. See, he that was an opinion part, that part. Right. The other parts our logical the ftc thing i've heard that before as well that they have to disclose if they had a deal and maybe they did maybe that's why microsoft said what they said to be fair just throw it out there maybe they did disclose that to microsoft right um or maybe it has to be that they disclose it openly i do not know uh now, now so he co-signs pretty much what jazz said on the optimization jazz didn't say that it might not be that to be fair he's he's saying it could also be the technical issues but he's saying that, yes, there was a deal in place. So Jess chimes in again and he says, I think this happened last minute and probably result of a tech issue. But there's a deal in place right now for X, Y, Z months. At least that's what Xbox all believes right now from what I can tell, which is why Tassie and Kat heard the same. He said, ask a direct Xbox source to tell you otherwise if you have them. I'd be interested to hear if you could find one right for real. For real, for real. I know there's people who were at Xbox Mixer in LA who heard it directly too. Something occurred. I wish they just come out and say it. So they're both confident in what they're saying, and they both have decent sources, right? So who do we say side with? I don't know. I, I can't say for a certain one way or another. I say thing, that it's up, per- to, up to the person. Yeah. You know what it I'm is. saying? It, it is up to the person, but I'll add this. I will go back to the point that Xbox clearly believes there's a deal in place. Yep. They, well, they Bloomberg make, also reported when, on when it. When have we ever it. seen them make a tweet like that? We've no. never seen them directly well, say you know something what? like that. Can I can I add some additional context? I have that tweet in front of us. Thanks to Hazard or Gaming, uh, Dragon of Do, uh, 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 of uh, Dojima. Uh, he's obviously, of course, Hazard or Gaming on Twitter. Follow this man. Hazard or? Yeah, Hazard is good dude. Uh, his his. his his turnaround when he gets the information is just legendarily great. Uh, so obviously he's been involved in this. He he tweeted the original statement from uh, from Microsoft. I have that. I'm going to read it. And this is what the old Microsoft statement had to say regarding the initial report. We can't comment on deals made by our partners with other platform holders, but we remain focused on making Xbox the best platform for gamers and great games are at the center of that. I don't think a spokesperson for Microsoft comes out and says this without believing that either something happened or this deal is in fact money had it. Now, again, I'm not demonizing Sony for doing that. They are a business. They don't have first party games. They need new things for their platform but I think where we run into the muddiness of the waters is game science being incentivized potentially to lie about why the game is being delayed without actually just saying, you know what, we took a bag of money. Because again, where this ultimately goes to and what the press and of course many of the pundits, if you will, in the gaming community ran with Umbra is that, oh, see that Series S, the potato has done it again. (laughs) And it's unfortunate 
that 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 console, yes, it is a lesser power powerful console. But when a proper developer, like mm, I don't know, the people that made Baldur's Gate three, who actually delayed the game on Xbox because of what they didn't understand was the Series S, turn around, put some dev time into it. Oh, what do you know? They were able to not only make it better on the S, they were able to make it better on PC, PS5, and Series X. Oh, all because of the potato, right? So again, believe what you want. Whoever you, whoever's your favorite team, like I said, this was reported on by Jez Corden. It was now reconfirmed by Paul Tassi. Bloomberg has reported on it. You know, again, your mileage is going to vary on who you believe, but just based on the, I mean, again, you, you, you said it, Umbra, the way that Jez immediately came back, he knows, and he knows people in Redmond. He has one-to-one -one connections. I can't say who they are. I know some of them, mm -hmm. they're, they're tip of spear uh, for Jez Gordon. So, uh, yeah, Jazz is pretty. I mean, he's obviously he's pretty well connected. He's been right way too much. Same with Nick. To be fair, Nick has been right. Well, I don't know if he's. I don't. I would love to see a, a like a list of what what were they wrong on? What were they right on? <laughs> who had the most? But but listen, most much love to both. I again, we don't know the answer for sure. I'm not trying to state this like yes, he's definitely correct. All I'm saying is they're both confident in what they're saying. But I would say. Jazz is to me makes the most logical sense simply because yeah. we know Sony has done this before. There are different types of deals that can be made that don't have to go, you know, the typical I money hat you for whatever way. And Microsoft's rep, like you said, said what they said, and that tweet is still there. They didn't delete it. It's not like they say, oh, let's get rid of this. We can't, you know, they left it there. So they posted it in anger. Yep. That, that's what at least that's what I feel. They posted yeah, it in good, kind good of good a anger to say, we're going to keep this here. To say, hey, this is not on us, essentially, you know, because, again, it does come back to the Series S or Microsoft in general being blamed for the issue. Yeah, no, I, I, dude, a thousand percent. Great way to open up the show. Corkenstein, welcome back, sir. Let Thank You've you. heard what you've heard what Umbra had to say. You've heard uh, the, the, the tweets. I read them verbatim from Paul Tassie. Let, let's get you get your thoughts on this. Uh, do, do who do you believe? And more importantly, this sounds, look, take it for what it's worth, Sony Playbook 101. Yeah, so like I said, let, let's continue on. Like I said, I love that Umbra did the, the even keel. Let's continue on with that, that kind of style of thinking here. I think both are right. This And I remember we were talking a little bit um, in, in our chat about it, what I thought would happen, and it's sounding more and more like that might be the case. So just with my experience working in the industry, what I think happened is Game Science was, they were in trouble. They were hurting. Wukong was in technical, uh, having technical difficulties. They they weren't on track to meet that deadline. Um, they probably either reached out to Sony or maybe Sony reached out to them. Something, whatever. Maybe they were going to do some kind of special promotion, whatever for it. Um, and they dropped the news to Sony. Hey, guess what? We're going to have to delay this game. Now, let's just use common sense here. Sony's having a rather dry year. Uh, they really don't have a lot coming out other than what Astrobot, I mean, Concord, um, you know, that kind of stuff, but they don't have a lot coming out. So if you were PlayStation and you were hearing that a very highly anticipated title is now going to have to take a delay in one of your drier years, what are you going to do? You're going to say, Hey, how about we give you some funding, you prioritize the PlayStation, and you release on us, you know, first so we can get this out. Xbox has no shortage of games right now. They got Game Pass. They're hitting every single high note right now. So it's not like Xbox is going to be like, no, we need this game. You need to pay, you know, here's money. So in that sense, I think that's what happened is Black Myth Wukong was in a very bad state. It wasn't going to meet its deadline. It still is kind of in a bad state. Um, it's just... PlayStation was like, how about we give you some money, you prioritize the PlayStation, and you release for us first while you work on the Xbox version. Great point. 
Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what it is. It's not saying X, you know, they're not saying we're exclusively holding back from Xbox. They're just saying, listen, we want this game. We need this game. Here's money. We'll give you some funding. Just prioritize ours first and gives you time now, extra funding to, you know, work on other versions of the game. All we want is it first. And I think that's what happened is it, it's not really an exclusivity deal. It's not really a marketing deal. So maybe that's why they don't have to disclose. It's just a kind of one of those gray areas where they're giving funding to a game just primarily just so they it's it's not like they're going to see a, a I guess a, a added benefit really like to where it's like they're not doing it so it could be like keep it off Xbox. They're doing it so they can get a game on their platform as fast as possible. And it's it, I, so that's that's where I think kind of that little late where people are hearing one thing, somebody's hearing something else, and it's now too just you know um two things just coming together and everybody's both right it's just they're hearing it from different sources and it, no one's kind of putting the pieces together so if i had to guess that's what i think happened yeah.